Hello, Bethany London here, and I want to share with you about today. It's Chinese New Year's Eve, and this is a very special day to me, and all my really close friends know how crazy I get, but let me tell you, they have a lot of fun, and I can tell you that a lot of my friends now partake in some of these activities on their own as well. So, I'm going to share with you why I practice feng shui, especially today. I was first introduced to feng shui when one of my clients that I was selling their home had a feng shui consultant come in and it was so powerful and we ended up selling like that. Next thing you know, I was listing a, a condo complex and we were having trouble getting that first unit sold. Brought in the feng shui consultant, within 24 hours, I had an offer. So I started using feng shui any time I had a listing that had any sort of issues selling. And that's how powerful this practice is. And the thing is, it's all easy. It's really all about living intentionally. They talk about putting a fountain over here or putting this in the corner over here. Really, at the end of the day, it all has to do with intention. So I'm gonna tell you a few things that I do to just intentionally set up myself for the following year on the Chinese New Year's Eve. And hey, take it with a grain of salt, take it into your practice if you want. I love it, it's all about intention and bringing love, harmony, ease, abundance into your life and more. So, first off, you wanna clean your home. You wanna clean your home. If there's some bills you haven't paid, get them paid. If there's some debts that you owe on, make as much of a payment as you can because you're being intentional that your your intention is to pay off those debts going into the year. That's one. Also, it's all about doing the work yourself. I love hiring cleaners, but when you put your own effort into your home through cleaning, deep cleaning, you're doing it yourself. You're adding your love into the home. Another thing is opening all the windows. Yes, even if it's cold, opening those windows so the breeze can help you just clear out stagnant air. And if you wanna take it to a whole nother level, my friends have done this with me, <laughs> taking bells, taking chimes, taking your pots and pans and clanging them around the house. And I'm talking about opening doors, opening closets, clearing out the energy, letting it brush out the windows and then what you do is you take an incense or maybe it's just a candle, maybe that's all you have. In, in the best situation, you have, you have incense, you have natural oils. Right now I'm breathing in some mandarin orange incense and it's amazing <laughs> as I'm sharing this with you. So I had all the windows open and just letting the air cleanse the air with this beautiful mandarin orange scent. I also use a mandarin orange uh, peel, and that's a very common feng shui thing. And you just burn the peels and you walk around the home and you let the air breathe out. Let the fresh air in, let the stagnant air out. So it's all about intention. And as you walk through your home, you can be with the intention of releasing any negative energy, releasing anything that does not serve you, and then when you walk around with the incense that you love, be in the space of bringing only the best into your life of harmony, health, ease, whatever your goals are for the year. Just really grounding yourself in that as you're walking throughout the home and continuing to let the air out and in through the windows. Another thing is turning all the lights on in your home. So not only do you have the windows open, you have all the lights on. And usually I do this at about midnight. That's when we do it. Um, so yeah, just really cleaning, getting those last minute things. I, I literally this morning, I cleaned out my closet, getting rid of a lot of clothes, the spring cleaning, similar stuff. But we're doing it, I'm doing it intentionally around the Chinese New Year's. So clean, organize, air out. There are so many other things, but I will leave it simple with buying yourself some fresh flowers maybe having some chocolate tonight so you can start your year off with something sweet and wear something red. I wore red yesterday, I got my red lipstick on and nail polish. Maybe wear gold, 
So red and gold are kind of the colors for feng shui and Chinese New Year. So that's what I did today and will be doing tonight. And hey, if you want to live an intentional life, feel free to bring this into your practice. You can also do it for New Year's Eve, the normal New Year's Eve. And then one last thing that I completely forgot to mention is moving your furniture. Moving your furniture even just a couple inches, like one. Moving everything just a little. It's all about shifting up the energy and allowing new. Allowing that newness in, that joy, the ease, the harmony, and just continued blessings into your life. Let me know how it feels. Let me tell you, my place is smelling pretty good. <laughs> okay, have a beautiful, beautiful evening. Gung hai fat choy, and we'll talk to you next time.